This is a seven year old MacBook Air from 2017. Let's see how good this thing is in 2024 for developers. Okay, let's start from the basics. 10 to 20 Chrome tabs with some web servers in the background. Sometimes it jitters and freezes here and there, but most of the time it just runs smoothly. Now when you open up these many tabs and background tasks, you may run into memory issues because this thing only has eight gigabits of memory. You may need to keep that in mind and you may need to upgrade into 16 gigs if you do some more intensive tasks with this thing. Talking about memory, let's talk about storage. This thing only has 128 gigs, which is not tall enough for any type of developers. If you're a web developer, it's kind of okay. Like macOS almost takes 20 gigs, apps takes 25 to 30 gigs, and your documents all take up space, guys. And 128 gigs is not enough. You at least need 500 gigs, which you may need to upgrade. And if you're an iOS developer, you're trying to get into iOS development and you buy this Mac, storage issue is going to be big because Xcode alone takes up 20 gigs. I've tried many times installing Xcode with all of my documents. I uninstalled Android Studio. Even after that, I could not install Xcode. It says that there is no storage for Xcode. Keep that in mind if you're going to be an iOS developer. And a quick tip, if you're using Final Cut Pro, just go ahead and delete the generated library files. It's gonna save up a lot of space, guys. And let me say, if you are going to be a web developer, this thing is a beast in the segment because React, React Native, not at all a problem. If you're just starting out as a developer, trying to get into coding, this is the Mac for you. Because for this price, this thing is totally worth it buying and it provides a great build call. But there are some stuff that you need to keep in mind like the software support. It's almost three years old by 2024. It runs Montrey and it's stuck at Montrey. It won't get any more updates. So you may need to look forward for that. If you're going to do iOS development on this thing, the latest version of Xcode needs the latest version of macOS. So if you're going to do iOS development, you may run into issues on that. But you could install older versions of Xcode, which is supported for Montrey, but it won't have those latest features that Apple announces. This thing works on Core i5 processor, which there's a version with the i7 processor, which is going to be even more performant than this thing. If you want the Geekbench score of this here you go so after all of this is this good for developers so if you're just starting out you're doing small projects you're just learning maybe you are just college then this thing is the perfect mac for you you need to worry about software support just check on that and then go buy this thing if you're looking for a laptop in this price range for coding which is greatly built and durable this is the laptop for you and see you in the next one bye